Hello everyone. Today, we embark on a fascinating journey through the evolution of biology. We'll explore the key milestones and developments that have shaped our understanding of life. Join me as we travel back in time and witness the evolution of biological inquiry. Before we dive into the details, let's take a moment to glance at the roadmap of our journey today. This slide outlines the key chapters we'll be exploring in the history of biology. From the ancient roots of biological inquiry to the cutting-edge development of the 21st century, each section contributes to the rich tapestry of our understanding of life. We'll venture into ancient civilizations, uncover the visionary ideas of Greek intellectuals, navigate through the challenges and preservation of the Middle Ages, and witness the scientific revival of the Renaissance. Our journey will then zoom in on the microscopic world and explore Linnaean classification. Moving into the 19th century, we'll unravel the Darwinian revolution, delve into the formulation of cell theory, and examine the pioneering experiments of Gregor Mendel in genetics. As we step into the 20th and 21st centuries, we'll witness the modern developments that have reshaped our understanding of biology. Finally, we'll conclude by reflecting on the evolution of biology and the ongoing quest for knowledge. So, fasten your seatbelts as we embark on this historical exploration. Our journey begins in ancient times, when human curiosity about the natural world laid the foundation for biological inquiry. Civilizations like Mesopotamia and Egypt made significant contributions to medicine and natural history paving the way for the scientific exploration of life. These images show ancient artifacts related to medicine. The image on the left shows ancient Egyptian medical tools, and the image on the right shows a Mesopotamian clay tablet prescribing medical and magical remedies to cure young children. Fast forward to ancient Greece, where visionary intellectuals like Aristotle and Hippocrates laid the groundwork for biological thought. Aristotle observed and classified more than 500 species of animals and dissected many of them. Based on this, he left several books on the ecology and embryonic development of animals and insisted on the theory of spontaneous generation. The theory of spontaneous generation is that living things can accidentally arise from non-living things such as soil or rotten wood. Hippocrates, often referred to as the father of medicine, laid the foundation for Western medical ethics and practice through his pioneering efforts in systematizing medical knowledge, emphasizing observation, and establishing a holistic approach to understanding and treating diseases. Their ideas about classification, observation, and the balance of bodily fluids were revolutionary and set the stage for centuries to come. The Middle Ages were marked by challenges and limited progress in biological understanding. Despite this, the preservation of classical knowledge, particularly in monasteries, ensured that ancient wisdom endured even during times of stagnation. The practice of medicine was heavily influenced by the teachings of Galen, an ancient Greek physician whose works were widely studied and followed. Galen established the foundation of anatomy based on knowledge gained by dissecting livestock. Our journey takes a turn during the Renaissance, a period of renewed interest in science and discovery. Leonardo da Vinci's groundbreaking influence on anatomy stemmed from his meticulous dissections of the human body, producing detailed and accurate anatomical drawings. His unique contribution was the integration of art and science. His anatomical drawings were not just scientific records but also works of art. Vesalius opened a new horizon in human anatomy by writing on the fabric of the human body in seven books, based on his experience in human anatomy. Scientific pioneers like Leonardo da Vinci and Andreas Vesalius made groundbreaking contributions to anatomy and the study of the natural world, marking the rebirth of scientific inquiry. As we move into the 17th century, a new tool emerges that changes the game, the microscope. Invented by Anton van Leeuwenhoek, this revolutionary instrument allowed scientists to explore the previously unseen world of microorganisms, opening up a realm of possibilities in the study of biology. He observed saliva, lake water, and rainwater with his single-lens microscope and first discovered microorganisms such as unicellular algae, protozoa, 
and bacteria. Jumping ahead to the 18th century, we encounter Carl Linnaeus. He proposed a method of classifying living organisms systematically and by clarifying the concept of a species. The basic unit of classification, he devised binomial nomenclature, a notation for the scientific name of a species. The Linnaean system brought order to the vast diversity of life. The image on the right is the table of the animal kingdom from the first edition of his book, System of Nature. The 19th century brings us to a pivotal moment in the history of biology, the Darwinian Revolution. Charles Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection challenged traditional beliefs, providing a compelling explanation for the diversity of life on Earth. Darwin argued that there are variations between living things, that only those who adapt well to the environment survive, and that these variations accumulate, yielding evolution. Darwin's theory of evolution had a lot of influence on life science as well as politics and society. The image on the right is the title page of his book On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection, or the Preservation of Favored Races in the Struggle for Life. In the 19th century, scientists like Schleiden, Schwann, and Virchow contributed to the formulation of the cell theory. Schleiden argued for the plant cell theory that plants are made up of cells after observing each part of the plant under a microscope, and Schwann argued for the animal cell theory that animals, like plants, are made up of cells. Virchow argued that all cells come from cells and established the cell theory. The cell theory revealed that the basic unit of all living organisms is the cell, which promoted research on cells. The image on the right is an illustration of Virchow's cell theory. Again in the 19th century, we encounter Gregor Mendel and the emergence of genetics. Mendel analyzed the results of the experiments on plant hybridization of peas, and found that parental traits are passed to the progeny in the form of particles, or hereditary factors. Mendel's discovery was not noticed at the time, but it was rediscovered by several scientists around the 1900s. His main principles of inheritance are now referred to as Mendelian laws. His experiments with pea plants laid the foundation for our understanding of heredity, setting the stage for the field of genetics to blossom in the 20th century. The table on the right is a Punnett square for one of Mendel's pea plant experiments, illustrating the self-fertilization of the F1 generation. In the 20th and 21st centuries, biology entered the molecular age. Advancements in molecular biology, genomics, and other modern disciplines have unraveled the intricacies of life at the molecular level, reshaping our understanding of genetics, disease, and the very essence of what it means to be alive. The image shows the structure of the DNA double helix. The atoms in the structure are color-coded by element, hydrogen is white, oxygen is red, nitrogen is blue, carbon is black, and phosphorus is yellow. The detailed structures of two base pairs are shown in the bottom right. As we conclude our journey, we reflect on the incredible evolution of biology. From ancient roots to the modern era, our understanding of life has continuously evolved. The quest for knowledge persists, and we look forward to the future, where new discoveries will undoubtedly reshape the landscape of biology once again. Thank you for joining me on this historical exploration of the science that unravels the mysteries of life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.